Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon. I'm your host, Jay. Welcome back to Jay Plays Games. Let's get right back into it. This is probably going to be... Um, I don't know if it'll be short. It's not going to be a, a, a very action-packed episode of The Legend of Dragoon. Because... We are going into uh, Endel's castle, the capital of Bale. Let's turn the volume. Oop, wrong, wrong button. Let's get the volume turned down. Yeah, all right. Because we're going into the uh, capital of Bale. Um, there's going to be some talking. Um, and stuff. There's not going to be a whole lot of... Um, fighting going on. Um, we're going to find some stardust in this episode. Um, we're going to do a little bit of talking. And we're going to find a little bit of stardust. Nothing too major. This is where you find your first, like, large amount of stardust. Um, I think there's like seven hidden around the city. Oh, this is a neat little thing right here. Oh my god, it's Sir Lavitz. Oh, Sir Lavitz, please, let me draw your portrait again. So you already have one portrait of him. You want to draw another. Oh, don't move. Happy Dancer, don't move. Portrait of Lavitz. Hmm. Isn't it a little too handsome? I don't think so. Thank you. I'll treasure this. Okay. So there's um there's a lot of steps to go to finding some of these. I don't think there is any in here. I think there's a chest over here. What's the point of this even being here? <sighs> I feel like there's some useless areas in this game. Feels weird because what every time I've played this game has been on a PlayStation controller, you know, a, a dual shot. And it's just weird to have like my Xbox One Elite controller in my hand moving around. Spritz? Yeah, I have good ones. A hunt. Jeez. Alright. Give me the good spirits. Save there. Alright. 
No. Oh, it's not this shot. It's the weapon shot. Alright. There's nowhere we Alright, so. Step one. Come talk to the drunk guy. The drunk guy is my favorite. Love the drunk. Milk. That's the sound it makes. Milk. Smells like spirits. And they're good ones. Oh, you're gonna give me spirits? Maybe. Brother, you're generous. Well, I'll have it. Oh, I thought he made noises. Alright, anyways, you had to give him the Y so you can access this back pathway. And there's a chest right here. You can barely see it. Go this way. Now, y'all tell me if y'all can find out where Dart is. Tell me where Dart is. Oh, well. Had I not had the uh, little blip above him, y'all probably would have been like, oh. Nah, he's very easy to see down there. Find the little cage. Anyways. not the way we wanted to go. Alright, so... We need this... The, we need this boat right here. But to get to this boat right here, we have to go to the castle. Actually, no, we have to get to here. I have to remember how to get to there. Go to the castle first. Oh, we're gonna. S oh, I didn't want to go in here. I think there's something, um, and back in that storage area, there's no way to get to it except from the boat we just saw. I don't know what's back there, I can't remember, but... Whew. Um, this is the weapon shop. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, you don't want to buy, you know, just everything. You want to... Aha! You want to make sure you buy certain things. That do you good. So. I want to say I want to come here first. Ching ching. Ching ching. Ching ching.
pompous. Such a pompous place. Alright, so that leads upstairs. Got that. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. It's gonna bring me up here. And it's gonna bring me down here. I'm not sure this is the ladder I want. It is, it is. Oh no! <laughs> Wrong one. Alright, let's go back down the ladder. So we turn this door. Or turn this handle. And these doors open. So we've already picked up two. We've picked up the one in the weapon shop, and we've picked up the one in the first floor fireplace. So. Here. GG's. baby. Alright, so we go upstairs here. And then this does. I don't think I've ever used the active ring. So I probably can't tell you how to, I probably can't tell you what it does. Oh, it a dispiriting. Okay, so things you would use no, dispiriting, so you couldn't break its spirits. Oh. Increase hit rate for attacking all oh, by 20%. Um, I don't think the War Gods amulet does additions. I think it just increases damage and stuff. We'll, we'll put it on there and see what it does. I'm sorry, y'all. Just I like the music. It's crazy. All right. So yeah, it's probably in this corner then. Got it. All right. So there are three left, I think. Because we've got the one of the spears, we've got the one in the fireplace, and we got the one in the top. So we need, we've got one, two, three. Yep, three left. All right. So while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and handle major business. Major, major business. 
This is King Albert. I am the head of the first knighthood, Lavitz Slimebart. I am back from the field. Oh, Lavitz, I was feeling uneasy because I heard you were missing. Oh, please, make yourself comfortable, everyone. Your Majesty, it's more than I deserve. Ha ha ha. It was true. His Majesty was so dismayed that he couldn't see to his affairs of state. Oh, nosh. Noish, nosh, naish. Noosh, noosh, noosh. Screw it. Please don't tease me. Lavitz is a friend from my childhood as well as a master of martial arts. Anyway, after my first night was, was wiped out, I was captured by a Sandora and held against my will in Helena prison. What? In Helena? However, thanks to the act of this young man, I managed to break out. Let me introduce these people. Dart and Shauna, they are from Celis. I thank you for saving Lavitz. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. In gratitude for this, tell me if you need anything. I have a favor to ask. Is it possible to take care of Shauna in this castle? What? It seems Imperial Sandora attacked Celis to take Shanna away, so they could go after Shanna anytime. And when I think of it, is that the reason you brought me here? Shanna. I can walk next to Dark. I have been working towards that. There's nothing we can do about the time we were apart, but I want to be with you forever. Unfortunately, you cannot leave her here. Imperial Sandora obtained the force called a dragon, the dragon, and went on the offensive. We are holding the battle line in hawks, hoax. But if the dragon can fly at low altitudes and directly to attack the castle, we cannot defend it even with the high ramparts. There is no place safe in Saratero now, Sergio now. Besides, you know how she feels about you. It may be dangerous, even more dangerous from now on. I don't mind, as long as I can be with you, Jar. Well, I take that bad time, okay? But, one more thing. I would like to ask a question to Minister Bush. Ask me anything, son. My head is filled with all the legends and history of the continent. All right, we're coming up upon the first FMV. I guess, I guess that's it was. It, I think it's what you would call an FMV. I was on a journey to pursue the black monster. The black monster. The monster that attacked me 18 years ago. The only thing I knew know is that he deprived me of my parents and my hometown. Hmm. You're a victim of the devil. I want to hear everything. Please tell me. Hmm. There's hardly any information left. Everything that was related to him was reduced to ashes. The only thing I know is uh, the black monster is called the devil that disobeyed the great existence. And it is also known for devouring the god. Devouring the god? Yes, and surprisingly, it shows up in history beginning 11,000 years ago. 11,000 years ago is the time the dragon campaign ended. You're exactly right, your majesty. Instead, I would tell you the story of the dragon campaign. As if they were gods, Winglies ruled over all living creatures and used them as slaves. The enslaved suffered a terrible domination and injustice. Their anger turned to a flame of fury. Then a gust of wind blew throughout the lands, spreading the flame to a blazing fire. The wind was Emperor Diaz.
seven incarnations of dragons served the Emperor. Their bravery inspired people to take up arms. Thus began the Dragon Campaign. It was a harsh war. Both people and Winglies suffered countless injuries and fatalities. After a long period of suffering, it was the humans who acquired the future. The age of humans had begun. All right, the age of humans begun. The black monster appeared after the dragon campaign. Excuse me, sir. It's time for the war meeting. I see. Tell them we will come soon. Dark Shana. This war will be be a particularly harsh one for those who no longer ha have a home. <laughs> who no longer has a home to return to. The castle is very quiet now. It is the best place to think about your future. But this is our first time in the castle. Well, there is a place with a great view next to the room. Go enjoy yourself. The view from the castle. I see. Please excuse me. She is so hasty. Please excuse me too. From here we can see all of Basil. Might we even be able to see Celis? Celis is over the mountain. Besides, we cannot see it anyways because we are so far. I hope everybody is safe. I'm sure they are. Okay. Yes, they are. According to the brief by my aid, most of the people in the village are safe. Really? I am relieved to hear that. But it will take time to rebuild the village. Still, good. I can meet everyone again. But we have bad news. Sandora is now readying herself to attack us. They are planning to use the dragon for their offensive on hopes. Dragon? If they release that monster in battle, it would be total genocide. Our role as the knighthood is to stop it. I'm heading to Hoax now. Maintaining the battle line will determine the future of Basil. I have lived only for myself. I believed it was something I had to complete by myself. Even if I had to leave Shanna and the people of the village behind. But when I came back to come back, look at this. I almost lost my hometown again. Lavitz, I'm going to hoax with you. I don't want to see any more senseless bloodshed. What about the black monster? We have to end the war first. Once Dart makes up his mind, he never changes it. Of course, I'm going too. I cannot stand the war either. I can fight too. You guys. Everything is determined, and now we have to prepare. Then, let's go to bail now. There are item shops, weapon shops, and my home. Please, meet my mother. She would be happy because she hasn't had a guest for a while.
All right, so we are actually we're finished with the castle. No more stardust in the castle. Nothing left to do in the castle. So we're gonna leave from the castle. Um, what we want to do. Sparkling arrow. That is a weapon for Shana. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. We've been playing for a good minute now. Um, we're about halfway done with the city of Basil. We're gonna break this up into two parts. Don't want an overly long video of me doing nothing but running around in circles hunting imaginary dust so leave what you think down in the comments below uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and knock it all out thanks for watching I'm Jay and I'll uh, see you next time here on Jay plays games